Fred. All right. Yeah, hi, we were at Mix and uh, saw this really, really cool uh, robot that's kind of being run by the Connect unit. And I thought I'd ask uh, how it all works. Want to introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, so I'm uh, Vivek Pradeep and I'm uh, from the Applied Sciences Group at Microsoft. So what we did here is that we have an autonomous robot that uses the Kinect sensor to build a rich 3D map of the environment around it. And it uses Microsoft Robotics Studio to talk to the iRoomba platform. So what you're seeing here is the processing that's going on on the Kinect data. So those red regions there are obstacles and the green is safe path. And the blue is its current estimate of what its own position is and the yellow is a waypoint that it computes on its own okay. to figure out where it should go next. So the idea is that it's going to keep going around and keep trying to locate safe paths okay. and reach that end goal. And if in case something comes and obstructs its path, it's going to try to avoid it or walk around it. So it works pretty well in cloud environments. It's right now just stuck on that tape. So how long, how long did it take to build this? So uh, this took about two weeks to build yeah. with uh, obstacle detection and integration into so robotics really, really makes it easy. Uh, so if, it also detects moving objects so it can you know, adapt dynamically. So uh, what kind of real-world applications do you see with something like this? So uh, there are a lot of uh, applications. So the underlying technology, which is a 3D mapping itself, that's what I'm not showing here in the, in the visualization, is that it's building a dense 3D cloud. So something like that could be used to build models of the room, for instance, or you could use that same information because it's also simultaneously computing camera motion in augmented reality. But for a robotics platform, of course, it allows the robot to be completely autonomous. And you know, for instance, the Roomba right now has a bump sensor that goes around hitting objects and trying to navigate. And now you can have a robot that actually walks around and you know has a sense of where people are and where obstacles are and avoids them. So it's not just a passive robot anymore; it's an active robot cool. that's actually sensing the environment and trying to go around places. What other things are you working on at Microsoft? So, uh, with Applied Sciences Group, we do a lot of work uh, on human computer interfaces. So, we are working uh, a lot with the Xbox team and Surface. Uh, you know, there are a lot of projects, and I'm essentially a computer vision researcher, so my work is to, uh, you know, help understand what's happening when an image is formed and, you know, reconstruct 3D geometry out of that. Uh, imagery and things like that. So, for instance, this project was essentially born out of trying to, you know, stitch or build 3D maps using the Kinect sensor. For instance, you can use the Kinect sensor as a room scanner. Yeah. So you can use just wave it around and build 3D. And so, Lok, who's with uh, Microsoft Robotics, there he suggested that why don't we build an autonomous robot out of it? So that was precisely what this project is all about. Are there plans online to download uh, how to build one? Or yeah, you, so yeah. we will uh, certainly put some of our uh, at some point some of our obstacle detection code and things like that on Codeplex. Okay. Uh, as of now, the Microsoft Robotics Studio already comes with a platform where you can interact and send control signals pretty easily to the iRoomba platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Kinect with the Kinect sensor, we plan to you know provide a full library that can probably at some point help in you know building 3D maps and obstacle detection so people can build these kinds of robots on their own. Cool, right on. Well, thanks to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Take care.